Hello everyone, welcome to QPT. Are you curious why I chose the title Dream Big Move Forward Inch by Inch for my new book? The answer is in the speech you are about to see, the inspiring speech of Al Pacino from any given Sunday. Some championships. In the meantime, we're back to another dang commercial. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives all comes down to today. Either we heal as a team or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in America. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that inch. <laughs> On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Yeah. That's the team, gentlemen. Hell yeah. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do?
I watched this video clip many years back and this video sparked a deep realization within me. It resonated with countless articles, all echoing the same truth. Small, persistent steps pave the path to greatness. These insights, combined with Abraham Lincoln's timeless wisdom, I am a slow walker, but I never walk back, solidified my belief. Slow and steady truly wins the race. This step-by-step -step approach isn't just a recipe for progress, it is the very catalyst for dreaming big. When we fixate on immediate bursts of achievement limited by our current abilities, our aspirations shrink. But embracing the gradual climb allows our dreams to unfold, reaching heights we can only begin to imagine. It is the steady beat of our footsteps one after another that propels us toward those magnificent possibilities.